Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, I just want to look on different way we can blend edges of our image that we imported. So example right here, we have it um, file input. Let's go just open and preload it. And I'm just using one file and you can see right here we have our file with the kind of sharp edges. So I'm going just to move this file a little bit to the right. So we can preview. Okay, um, you have several options. You can move by open file properties and make a world placement. Or if you have it more complex, you always can go to parameters, select the coordinates generators and connect them to the coordinates. Notice at this point, it's overrided the our set of coordinates. And you can see right here, they disable because now we control from outside. Okay, let's go back to just delete this node. We don't need it because again, I just want to do this as example. Okay, let's look closer. So right here, you can see we have a very sharp edge. And that's what happened with many times when you import map, maybe from DM or other applications, um, you will end up with some hard edge. And sometimes you want just smooth and edge so you can combine them together. Here we have it, several options we can do this. One, we can always go ahead and use a blur to the and the same like other ones. The problem with the blur, you will blur everything, it's blur all of them, but it does provide some information for our edge. So, and we can do, of course, with the blur, we can go to combiner, then we can take and combine, we can have blur edge and non blur edge, and we can work this way. With modifications. Of course, you notice just on the edge, a little bit adjusting. And for this, we need almost use the areas where we want this edge blur. Okay, so as an example, let's go for just move it maybe um, right there. So we can play around with this and Maybe just go with minimum and average. Okay. Let's go for now. Just set with average as an example. And to use it, this area where we want to affect, um, we can use it several options. We're going to have it. One is a gradient. You can just can connect and you can see how it's affecting. So with gradient, of course, let's go change directions. Okay. And when we preview, okay, let's go back. Sorry, select this one, lock on this one. Okay, we'll preview, and you can see right here slowly we're already affecting this edge. So if we're going to our gradient, and we can make width, and you can see right here it's where our gradient is happening. Okay, we're going to go with combiner. Minimum. I'm probably just again stay on average. You can see right this area, it's where we affecting with our gradient just around there. Um, sometimes maybe we want to have it a little bit stronger effect or a little bit more control it. So in this case, we can go inside the filters and just take the clamp node, put it inside. Okay. And in a clamp, let's go select clip. And you can see we can kind of almost go down and clip some areas for our garden right here. Okay. And you can see we kind of start affecting that specific areas just with the gradient. Um, of course, with gradient, if you need more, we have it coordinates we can control. Same way as we did before. So we have coordinates, put in them and connect to our gradient. Right here, you can see it's kind of shifting. So we have it a little bit more apply on the side. And same way we now affecting area right to the edge. 
So you can see right here where we apply blur. This is area we have it and this is clipping out. Okay, let's go to lock to this preview. And again, what are we doing right now? Just look on the different concept, how to affect this edge, edge of the, um, our image. So we can just slightly blend in. So affect only this area. Okay, let's go to combiner. And at this point, we already, you can see how it's affecting. So with different effect, and again, let's go back to average. And right here from blur, you can see we just smoothly blurring this area, so they applied. Okay, almost any time when you apply kind of com combiners, um, it does help if we go and can add um, some effect that overlay over them and creating a little bit nicer um, kind of blending together the mode. So in this case, I'll go to natural filter. I'll just go add erosion to this. Okay. Let's go just make channel a little bit stronger so we can preview. About hardness rock right here, and you can see now the blending a little bit better together almost to the other edge. Okay, of course, if we have a different map, we can overlay with other edge on this side, and this we have a little bit nicer blending mode between of those two edges. But overall, right here we're creating our edge from um, file input where we have it with very high again we can add these more mountains okay and we you can see how we with erosion and everything we brought them down okay, so right here again on this area we can just go to add bring a little bit more okay, and we can create something little different okay um the, also we can add additional details to this anytime if you want to take your um and apply gradients to the gradient uh, apply file input to the gradient this way we have it some map little bit more resemble like what we have it above as well on a clamps mask we can apply it and now we will have it even better looking height so you can see right here we have it much stronger for what we have it before again this is just an add okay if we do it with average you can see we still have it about same only right ways blur area applied working and different gradients so just play around with the masks different but probably in this case what I will do I'll just put it mask input to the our clamp so we clamp right areas you can see right we have it nice options add it to um, erosion and if it's probably erosion too strong we can always you know just uh, decrease this way and we can still preserve same type textures and just leave it it's apply a little bit more on the blur right here where we can kind of put together okay so this is kind of concept how you can um one of the concept and we have it many different ways but how you can blur and work a little bit on an edge with a sharp ending map Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geeker Play Studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekerplay.com